my channel oh my god if you all would like to see how i created this look with this hair this makeup and all that good stuff you all know i love to have a bomb wig with a bomb face with a nice beat so if you baby dolls want to know how i created this look stay tuned <laughs> well, i'm looking real egghead like for real but I am not bald. This cap is just laying down so good to my head. <laughs> first things first, I am going to install this unit and then I'm going to start on my face. Ali Pearl sent me a beautiful, beautiful unit, y'all. I am so excited, baby dolls. So this is their packaging, as you can see. Um, in the back, they have their hair maintenance, um, hair care tips in the back of the package. This is the unit here. They gave me some mink pretty lashes and they also gave me a band just in case I wanted to sew in the elastic band inside the unit. And they gave me a cute dust bag. These are so good because I don't keep boxes. I like to just store my wigs inside of these. So this was super, super nice. So inside here, oh my god, oh my god, this is human version hair, I have it in a 22 inch, I have it in a 1B slash blue, I have her in a 200 density, this lace material is a Swiss lace. It looks like it's already bleached. It's slightly already bleached for you. But if you want to go in and bleach it a little bit more, you can. But to be honest with you, I'm looking at it now. I feel like you don't have to, but it's really up to your choice. And this lace looks so good. And it also comes with baby hairs already for you. It is um, pre-plucked, it looked like to me. But of course, when you, I'm going to try it on and see how it looks if I have to go in and pluck this unit but the front looks really 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 good and then in the back here it has some lace here and this is how much lace room you get you get two combs in the front one comb in the back and you will also have the adjustable straps so i'm just going to go ahead and install this unit you guys can watch me while i install it really quick <music> some of my Ruby Kisses Finish Matte Powder. Um, this is something I got from my local beauty supply store. And it's in the color Golden Honey. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this right in. <laughs> Then, if you can see a little bit of flyaways up here, I'm going to go ahead and spray it with my Gatsby spray. I'm not going to do too much because I don't want my top to be too hard and crispy looking. 
this just help because we don't need that. Now that this part is laid, honey, and plucked, honey, I'm going to go ahead and flood iron it. This unit, straight out the package, flat, bone straight. I don't even have to do much to it, but I am going to put some heat to it. So I have some of this oil, and this is the Argon Oil of Morocco, extra penetrating oil, whatever, whatever. Um, I'm going to go ahead and... Okay, let me stop and just show y'all my hand. Y'all see that? The blue is rubbing off. I guess it's from me when I was putting on my got to be spray, free spray to lay down this top part here, the blue rubbed off. So I'm just be mindful of that. Hopefully it don't rub off on my clothes. I don't want that to happen. But if it do, um, I don't want that to happen. <laughs> I really don't. This is just really gonna just make it soft and just give it a nice shine. So I went ahead and turned on my flat irons. I'm gonna show you guys how this hair look on straight. First things first, I'm just going to clip my hair back so I can start on this face. So I am going to be using something different on my brows. This is a Revlon Color Stay. I have it in the color Rich Brown. And I'm using um, the usual Maybelline Concealer in LA Pro Conceal in the shade Natural. And um, by the Maybelline Concealer, I'm using the color Honey. I just mix those both uh, to get the color that I wanted. Now for the new brow uh, pencil that I'm using, I really do like it because it makes my brows look super natural. I know you guys sometimes used to be using just a regular um, beauty supply pencil, eyebrow pencil, or the NYX eyebrow pencil, uh, but this one for some reason looks, looks very, very natural. I like it a lot. Sometimes when I use the beauty supply brow pencil, it kind of looks more like drawn on like a crayon a little bit so this right here um, the formula is just completely different I like it a lot now I know y'all see me chit chatting it up I'm on the phone <laughs> I had to take a call um, you know how it be when your friend call you and it's getting juicy I supposed to you know was talking through this video but unfortunately that did not work <laughs> so here I am doing up a voiceover and just here I'm just using my BH Cosmetics blending brush and I'm just blending the concealer out on the forehead so I don't have a weird halo effect when it's time for me to lay down my foundation and I am prepping my eyelid with the Maybelline concealer in the color honey and of course I went ahead and used my Rainbow Stay Matte pressed powder to set my eyelids in place. You all asked me to do another look with the James Charles palette, so I'm gonna go ahead and create another bomb look, and I'm taking the color 10% off, and I'm taking this right above my eyelid, kinda in the crease, but a little bit above the crease. I'm gonna just build and build and blend with this shade. This is a nice transition shade to work with if you're doing a smoky eye any type of smoky eye look so yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and build with this color take my time and um yeah it's just all about blending and building the color So I'm going to take the color Love That. This is like a plum purple and it just 
it works so well with the 10% off color on top of that and I'm taking it mostly in, in my crease and it blends so well these colors these two colors blend so good together and this color is so freaking pretty y'all it's so pretty and I just made sure um, I built with that color and went back and forth with both colors and made sure I blended everything out and then I took the black matte shade in the palette it's called spooky and I put that right into my crease and I made sure um, I took my time and build with this color because it's black so just take your time if you're gonna do this look and just build the color I kind of didn't blend it I kind of just pat it into my eyelid and then after I got it to where I want it um, I blended it out I basically went back and forth with that black built the color and then I started to blend build the color blend I just kind of just went back and forth until I got it exactly how I wanted it So then I went ahead and used this pretty royal blue color in the palette and I put this all over the lid. The color is A Acapella. Girl, I swear working with eyeshadows, it can, it can become very messy. So I just went ahead and cleaned it up with my concealer. And yeah, just don't worry about it. It's it's a process you will make a mess or leave it a, a bit of some fallout but if you want to use tape you can do that um, so you don't have to worry about cleaning it up and I just used my NYX uh, matte eyeliner and I did like a small skinny slight wing <music> Now for a foundation, this is my favorite right now. I'm using the Born This Way foundation and I have it in the color Butter Pecan. concealer I'm using the Maybelline fit me concealer in the color honey um, I love this color y'all I love the, the Maybelline fit me concealers they're so so good it blends good it's full coverage you can build with this concealer and it doesn't look cakey it's just really bomb <laughs> This is totally optional, but I like a bright under eye. I'm using the LA Pro Conceal in the shade Natural just for a nice bright under eye. I would recommend this concealer if you like a bright under eye like me. So yeah, that's exactly what I'm using. So to set my concealer in place, I used the Rimmel London Pressed Powder to set everything nicely in and then I went in with the loose powder version and I put that right down the bridge of my nose because I am going to contour it just a little bit, scope it out. And for under my eye, I'm using the same colors I used on my eyes and I'm putting that right in my waterline that is the color a acapella 
which is the blue and the other shade is 10% off so I kind of just use both now for contouring and bronzing I'm going to go in with the Morphe 39A palette I'm taking both of these colors here Sunder and Evolve to bronze with and contour And to set the rest of my face, I'm taking Maybelline Fit Me Pressed Powder in the color Toffee. And I'm just going to go ahead and make sure I set the rest of my face. Now this is my favorite, the NYX Matte Finish Spray. I haven't used this in so long. So this is like my ultimate fave setting spray ever <laughs> and then I'm going to go ahead and use the wet n wild highlighter um, yeah this is the bomb highlighter I've been using this recently in my recent makeup tutorials <music> So then I took the NYX Suede Lip Liner in the color Vintage. This color here, I thought it was going to be a little bit more deeper, but it's more of like a close to a mauve. It's like a almost rosy brown. So I went ahead and went in with my other NYX Lip Liner in the color, I believe it's Espresso. So this is a darker um, color in it actually fit well on top of the other color vintage and of course my favorite nude right now at the moment the NYX lingerie y'all I'm in love with the lip combo I actually thought it wasn't gonna come out looking right for some reason <laughs> but it actually matches well with the eye look so it's really really cute <laughs> so I did I went in with this shade here in the palette it's a nice sheer highlighted type of color and I put that right in my tear duct and I took a little bit of gloss I needed some gloss this is by Rimmel London all right ladies so that wraps it up for this video I hope you all enjoyed this hair this makeup slate honestly I did not think I was gonna make this look look like this but it came out so bomb I really really like it I created another look with the James Charles palette you can do smoky as you can see you can do colorful like you can do about anything with this palette um, someone asked me to a couple of you guys also asked me to uh, do a, to do a few more looks with this palette so yeah um here it is and I love this hair so much I hope you all really enjoyed this video this is really fun I am going out so also um, I want to know where all my followers stay like are you are, you all know that I'm from Chicago I want to know where y'all at tell me down below also where you from I want to know where all my baby dolls are from I would love to know and yeah that wraps it up for this video I love you all so much and I'll see you baby dolls in my next video <laughs>